Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch, welcome back to the Bodybuilding News Network for another installment of Bodybuilding Daily, or today, however you want to call it. We're going to be talking about the European Championships, or the Europa Pro, as some people call it, and we have the results for the Classic Physique Division for you, so if you are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. Now, we're going to start off with the winner, Wesley Vissers coming out of the gate and this is not going to be his last show of the year well, obviously he qualified for the olympia winning this show and i thought he looked phenomenal here uh, but from what i understand he's also going to be doing the dubai pro as long as he doesn't drop out of that so you should be expecting him to be competing at that show um, i think that's going to be a um, competitive show i think it's gonna be very entertaining he looked good here i thought he looked phenomenal very conditioned. I mean, Wesley's one of these guys, he's typically always very conditioned, and he brings that real nice golden era structure where you look at him and you really do think of this is what bodybuilding was back in the 80s. And that's one of the things I really like about him the most. Now, when we slowly shift into his competition here, uh, Mr. I always mess up his name, it's Madelman on Instagram, but Jose. Bo Bera Berry Berer Berry. I should just say like um, Jose Maria Mate. That's probably a little bit easier. But anywho, I always mess his name up. He looked really good here, and we're gonna get to look at them side by side at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Uh, I thought he did look good. I thought he looked phenomenally conditioned. He had great shape. He had a good haircut. Nice shiny bald. Everything you expect when you look at Madelman. Uh, this is. This is a, a typical package for him. So I thought he looked good. But as you can see here, when you put him next to Wesley, you, that's when you start to get, you know, he's getting in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I'd say Wesley has the size. He's got the height, which is a huge advantage for him. Really makes him a imposing structure. And I would say there's nothing missing for Madelman. Nothing. Jose's not really missing any muscle groups. I'd say he's a little narrow in the clavicles, in the shoulders, and I think that that does pull away from his overall physique, the amount of muscle that he can put on while still maintaining that weight cap and also still looking aesthetic. So there's, I think there's going to be some some limiting factors for him, especially looking at the back here. You can see he's not very wide. And it, it does take away from the package he's able to bring to the stage. So, Wesley, in my opinion, a very clear victory for this gentleman here. We will see him in just a couple weeks. I believe we're two weeks out from the Dubai Pro 212 Classic Physique. I don't believe there's an open class division. Uh, that's just something I haven't heard it yet. I haven't seen it on the schedule as well. So, I'm excited to see what's going to happen there. I do believe Jose is also doing the Dubai. So you're going to get to see a little bit of a rematch here as well as, you know, we're about to see uh, Regan Grimes hop on the open stage. I mean, we've got the 212 going right now, going through the second callouts. Uh, stay tuned for the first callout breakdown from your boy, Josh Sanch here on the Bodybuilding News Network. Uh, but that'll do it. Thanks for watching another episode. A little quick one, a little update on Classic Physique. More Classic Physique coverage to, co uh, to come. Don't worry. Uh, more coverage will come in the beginning or uh, in just a little bit. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.